Welcome to Watches That Rock. Submariner or Sea Dweller. This has been an ongoing dilemma for dive watch enthusiasts. We'll be comparing these revered Rolex timepieces to establish what's right for you. Embodying the essence of what a dive watch should be for over five decades, the Submariner and Sea Dweller have led the industry through meticulous design refinements and technological advancements. Whilst looking extremely similar, the timepieces feature a number of major and subtle differences, making them easily distinguishable. Launched in 1953, the Submariner was originally created for diving and underwater exploration. It was the first diver's watch to be waterproof to a depth of 100 meters or 330 feet, and since its introduction has undergone a number of design iterations over the years, However, the unmistakable classic and timeless design has remained virtually untouched. This was followed closely by the Sea Dweller, which was launched in 1967 as a progression of the Submariner. The evolution was evident as the original Sea Dweller was named the Sea Dweller Submariner 2000 and offered 2,000 feet or 610 meters of water resistance, which was hugely impressive even by today's standards. Rolex engineered the Sea Dweller specifically for elite saturation divers who spend extensive periods submerged, necessitating an oxygen mix contain helium. However, resurfacing with helium trapped in the timepiece could lead to damage and even separating the crystal from the case. To counter this, Rolex developed the iconic helium escape feature guaranteeing that any helium gas that is able to penetrate the watch case during saturation diving is able to escape with ease, leaving the crystal intact. Fast forward to the current offerings in 2023. Whilst there are a number of variations of the Submariner, including white gold and yellow gold combinations, we'll concentrate on the Submariner date reference 126,610 LN in oyster steel to make a closer comparison to the Sea Dweller reference 126,600, also in oyster steel. The Submariner case has undergone a number of changes and enhancements since its introduction in 1953. The original case measured 38 millimeters and in 1959, it was enlarged to 40 millimeters also incorporating the addition of crown guards. Since 2020, the Submariner features a more substantial case measuring 41 millimeters and approximately 12.4 millimeters in height. The Sea Dweller case has also undergone a number of changes and enhancements since its introduction in 1967. The original case measured 40 millimeters and in 2017 was enhanced to 43 millimeters in diameter and 15 millimeters in thickness, which is reflective of the current version, reference 126,600. Both timepieces feature the classic oyster architecture with a monoblock middle case, screw down case back and winding crown with the trip lock triple waterproofness system and offer exceptional water resistance. With the Submariner offering resistance to 300 meters or 1,000 feet, whilst the Sea Dweller is water resistant to an impressive depth of 1,220 meters or 4,000 feet and features the helium escape valve. One of the instantly recognizable features of the Rolex dive watches is the graduated rotatable bezel. The Submariner and Sea Dweller are equipped with unidirectional rotatable bezels divided into 60-minute graduations to help divers keep track of how long they've spent underwater. One standout difference is whilst the Submariner features graduations for every minute up to the 15-minute marker then spaced to every 5 minutes, the Sea Dweller bezel is graduated at every minute. The bezels have evolved over the years and feature more pronounced knurling allowing for a better grip, especially if wearing diving gloves. The bezel inserts have also been updated for both timepieces and are engineered from Rolex Ceracrum, a hard, corrosion-resistant ceramic, which is virtually scratch-proof and unaffected by seawater, chlorinated water, or ultraviolet rays, making it extremely durable. Inserts are finished with platinum numerals and graduations on the oyster steel versions, and the zero markers incorporate a luminescent capsule to ensure legibility in dark environments on both watches. The dials feature hour markers that are defined by triangles, circles, and rectangles, and feature broad hands for enhanced legibility. They are finished with the exclusively Rolex 
developed highly legible chromolite material, which provides a bright white hue in daylight and a long-lasting blue luminescence, providing excellent legibility, especially in the dark and underwater conditions. One standout feature on the Sea Dweller is the red text reminiscent of the original Sea Dweller, providing a nod to its heritage. It is a great contrast to the matte black dial making it pop. Both timepieces feature the robust and functional oyster bracelet with the oyster lock folding clasp, which is a great safety feature that prevents accidental opening. In addition, the bracelets are equipped with the Rolex patented glide lock extension system, which allows for easy adjustments of the bracelet without the use of tools, making it easy to wear over diving suits. The timepieces are equipped with the same Rolex in-house developed caliber 3235 with superlative chronometer certification. The movement features the watchmaker's latest innovations, including the Rolex Chronergy escapement, making it resistant to strong magnetic fields. The movement also incorporates the paramagnetic blue paracrum hairspring, offering superior resistance and stability to shocks and temperature variations, and is also equipped with Paraflex shock absorbers. The movement is automatic with bi-directional winding, incorporating 31 joules and operates at 28,000 vibrations per hour or 4 hertz, and offers a generous 70-hour power reserve. These two timepieces, though sharing similarities, possess unique qualities. The Sea Dweller is an evolution of the Submariner, as would be expected, and has excelled the original specifications in terms of tool watch capabilities. However, the Submariner still holds ground and is known for being one of the most popular Rolex watches of all time. If you're looking for a standout watch that triumphs on style either for everyday use or for diving, then the Sea Dweller would be the obvious choice. The larger size and increased proportions enhance the Sea Dweller's wrist presence compared to the Submariner, and the red Sea Dweller lettering on the dial is sure to catch attention. However, the Submariner stands out as a practical choice for everyday wear for most individuals. Whilst still being a dive watch, it is less intrusive and offers impeccable style and function with a lower price tag of £8,650 sterling or $10,250 US, whilst the Sea Dweller is priced at £11,150 sterling or $13,250 US. Both are great timepieces and worthy additions to any watch collection. Let us know which you prefer and why. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to support the channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks again for watching and catch you next time on Watches That Rock.